Whereas, Maddie J. T. Stepanek was an American poet, ambassador, and advocate for peace in our world. And whereas, at the age of three, Maddie started to write poetry, which he referred to as his heart songs, enabling him to cope with a rare and fatal form of muscular dystrophy, a disease which also claimed the lives of his sister and two brothers. And whereas the message contained in Maddie's heart songs touched the lives of people around the world, reaching individuals of all ages, races, nationalities, faiths, abilities, and aspirations. And whereas, after his death on June 22, 2004, Just Peace, a collection of essays on peace and Maddie's correspondence with the former president, Jimmy Carter, was published and awarded the Independent Publisher Gold Medal Award for the Outstanding Book of the Year in 2007 in the Peacemaker category. And whereas, Maddie J.T. Stepanek chose to live in Rockville. He loved his city, neighbors, and friends. And whereas on October 18, 2008, the city of Rockville honored Matty J.T. Stepanek for his remarkable contributions to his community and to people all over the world by naming 10, 26 acres of park in the King Farm community for him. And whereas to commemorate the life and legacy of Matty, the Matty J. T. Stepanek Foundation will hold a peace gathering scheduled for Saturday, July 14th from 1 to 4 at Boderano and Fatina Grill, where neighbors, friends, and elected officials will come together and share memories and reflections about Matty, about peace, and about our community. Now, therefore, the Mayor and Council of Rockville do hereby proclaim July 17, 2018 as Maddie Stepanek Peace Day and encourage all members of the community to recognize the many contributions of Maddie J. T. Stepanek by thinking gently, speaking gently, and living gently, the motto by which this courageous young man lived his life. I so move. Thank you very, very much. Let's give a hand for that. Um, so thank you, and thank you, Mayor Newton and, and Council. Um, very briefly, we all know that Maddie said peace is not just about pausing violence and ending war. It's about beginning to embrace attitudes and actions in our homes, in our schools, in our communities that teach peace to other people and bring peace into the next moment. And this year is a, is a really big year because officially Maddie's now, he lived 14 years and he's now been gone 14 years. And in this year where we kind of transition, where he's been gone as long as he was here, every single one of those 14 years that he's been gone, the mayor and then the next mayor and the next mayor and the city council has always voted to celebrate his birthday as a day of peace and to support Maddie's foundation in throwing this big party um, just to celebrate peace and all the activities. And you've been doing it so long that it has finally caught on, which was really what we were hoping all along. I mean, Peace Day locally is about a national campaign. And this year, for the very first time, we have a statewide proclamation coming from the governor that will be announced on July 14th, also saying the entire state of Maryland will now be celebrating Peace Day. So that's huge. Wonderful. So, so, thank you to the mayor and council for everything you've done across all the years. Um, I encourage everybody, you know, people here, people at home, your family, your friends, your, your relatives, whoever, come out from one to four. We have tents of activities, moon bounce, face painting. Um, we have a, a a mosaic. Everybody that comes of all ages 
can create a tile that's going to go into a community mosaic that's going to become a part of a global mosaic representing humanity that's going to travel around the world and be displayed. I mean, we've got great things. Um, uh, we've got entertainment, we've got bands, we've got dancing, um, and really cool stuff. We've got guest bartending, which uh, our treasurer, Chris Dobbins, is going to tell you about our special guest bartenders. That's awesome. I'm sorry, I, I get excited just hearing that it went to a state level that way too. So, whew. Um, well, I too wanted to. My voice is probably already loud enough for me. For the TV, for the TV. Oh, for the TV. Sorry. <laughs> well, what I did want to do is pass out these flyers for you to hang up around and also advertise. But also, what I really want to do is invite everyone here to come and have Madam Mayor pour you a drink as one of our prime guest bartenders. Uh, make it complicated. No, I won't, won't do, won't do. We'll keep it simple, keep it simple. But um, again, I, I really appreciate it and I thank each and one of you here. Uh, I don't really have much more to say, but I, I really do appreciate this. And it's, it's just so exciting to see this in motion the way it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work. Maybe this is the year that Maddie's um, mission, his desires, will become a reality for all of us. I hope so. It is so it, it's time. Yeah. So thanks very much, Jenna. Thank, Thank you. you. For being a role model. 